The majority of the state's Cannabis Commission is against growing marijuana in Georgia. Even though only five of the 14 board members voted in support, the group was still able to agree on some criteria for future consideration. Food and NBC's Alexa Rodriguez has more on their recommendations. I think we can still make a compelling argument to the governor. The chairman of the Georgia Medical Cannabis Commission is still optimistic an in-state marijuana cultivation model can happen, even after nine of the 14 board members voted against it. I think we can address the fears of law enforcement. I think we can address the issue of potential demand. Um, and I think we can provide, I'm absolutely certain, we can provide legislation um, that both maximizes the benefit for our citizens and minimizes the risk to public uh, health in our state. Those who voted against growing marijuana in Georgia said it's because federal law doesn't allow it. As a law enforcement officer, I cannot take that position. No matter what my sympathies are with family members and persons that, and victims of crimes or whatever, the law is the law and that is what we're, that's what we're to, up, to uphold. However, the board did agree on three recommendations for the governor. The first is to urge federal lawmakers to allow interstate transportation of cannabis oil. It's very wrong for the states to be working mechanisms to circumvent federal law when the federal government needs to, the, the Congress needs to address the problems in the federal law. The second recommendation is to create a medical cannabis advisory board. The board also agreed Minnesota's in-state cultivation model has the most promising aspects. Limited licensees, um, it's restricted to certain medical conditions. Uh, they are pharmacists that actually um, uh, direct the uh, dosage information for the patients. While law enforcement and the governor say they oppose growing marijuana in the state, State Representative Alan Peek still plans to introduce a bill for it this legislative session. A year ago, uh, we were facing stiff opposition as well, too, to even taking this first step. So I, I fully realize that uh, uh, I've got a huge mountain to climb, but the fight's not over. In Atlanta, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. Every board member will be able to put their opinion in the final report for the governor. That's due by December 31st.